Hey folks, it's Jeff at Bobblehead Homestead. Today is Saturday, the 20th something of October, and I didn't take any video yesterday. I did take some pictures. Uh, check out my Instagram page, and, and also my Facebook, and also Steam It, and also Twitter. Uh, but anyway... Uh, today's Saturday. I got here late because my windshield wipers on the truck stopped working. Uh, what are you going to do? Alright, so, uh, let's get some video on the happenings around here yesterday. The welcoming committee was a little bit late. It took them about ten minutes to get here, but they finally welcomed me. And... Now they're getting some scratch. Yeah. Oh. Be nice, ladies. <laughs> okay. This one is the ringleader. The black one is the number two. Um... Okay, that one is number three, and that one is number four in the pecking order. No, I'm not naming them. At least today. Okay, okay, Friday, Arc West Communications were already here when we got here. And they did that. That is my fiber optic phone box, internet box, whatever, and that orange tube goes into the ground, obviously, but they had to connect that box to the corner of, of this little lane and the corner of my property, and I wasn't here when they did that, but it looked like fun, and holy cow, the rock, so let's follow the path. They were going to go down my driveway. They were going to go up the road and then down my driveway straight in. But, for whatever reason, they, well, I think it was because of the water. They didn't want to mess up the water. So, they cut across my property instead of going down the road. <laughs> I've got new road if I want it. Yep. So they cleared, hey, free. It was free. They cleared all that out for me. They ran the fiber optic from that. I don't know if you can see it sign. Ah, well, let's take a walk down there. So yeah, they ran the fiber optic uh, across down there, across the driveway, and up to the box. So, see that rock? <laughs> That's what the whole thing looks like. Everywhere, rocks that size, too. They had, well, they had the line up, and then they came back through with the tractor and covered it all up, so you can't see as many rocks. But, boy, when, the, when that the slice through the earth was still there, you could see the rocks. And, oh, while I'm over here, I think I found the source of my two flat tires. Yes, that's right. On Tuesday, I had a flat tire. On Wednesday, I had a flat tire. That trunk was in the driveway. And it had two sharp points coming up. And it's like almost petrified. I mean, that stuff is heavy and you can't, you just can't dig into it with a shovel or nothing. So, well, and it broke into two pieces, but let's see, yeah, there's one of the sharp points that was, that was sticking up out of the ground, and I'm sure that could do it, and the other sharp point was, uh, it was on the end, anyway, two sharp points sticking out of the ground in my driveway, two flat tires. 
Um, if it wasn't that, <coughs> it might have been they just put down gravel on these uh, gravel roads out here and graded it. So there might have been some sharp rocks in there. Yeah, that's one of the theories. So anyway, I got a nice path through there. And it is all rocky. There won't be any tilling going on on my property. None at all. But I'm still going to try to grow ro um, grow rocks. Yeah, anybody want to buy some la big landscaping rocks? You dig them out, I'll give them to you. Well, if you're nice to me, I'll give them to you for free. But, you know, a few bucks here and there. Uh, yeah, you can kind of see the rocks everywhere. Yeah, you're really seeing the rocks. Can I grow flowers on this? What do you think? Can I? Only one way to find out. Yeah, kitty's meowing. More rocks, more rocks. Hey, an old basketball hoop. Rocks, 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 rocks. Look at the size of that thing. And of course, that's my little rock wall there. Rocks, rocks, rocks. But it's kind of cool that they cleared this all the way out to my boundary pole is, I don't know, standing up about four feet on the left at the, not, well, This is pretty good earth, I will give it that. And see, my rock wall goes all the way across. Pretty cool. If it was more than a foot tall, well, I guess you gotta find somewhere to put the rocks. <laughs> and that's my boundary pole. So, this is the south east corner of my property we're pointing north now so my property goes 264 feet in that direction alongside the road and then it goes 464 feet in that direction and there's that shed thing from a different view. Okay, also accomplished yesterday while the cat chows down is my relative, 87 years old, did those that hand railing without any help from me. And so yeah, pretty cool. Easier to get up and down. And we'll go inside the front door, and to our right is the front bedroom. And also yesterday I put a second coat of orange paint on the floor. So, yeah, got an orange floor. And I've already got two 6x8 rugs that are gonna cover most of this room anyway um, okay on tap for today is I need to try to make this door bug and mice proof so I'm gonna have to put some uh, whatever trim some bigger trim around the door and we've got a new door stopper but there's a two inch gap between the bottom of the door and the floor. Uh, probably because they had carpet down when they built this thing. But there's a two inch gap. So I think um, put a strip of something on the bottom of the door solid enough to keep mice out. And then the threshold that I bought has a little rubber mound well i'll have to show it to you after we get put in so but before i do that the carpet in the threshold has to go and i'm taking out all this carpet anyway so today since i got here so late i am just going to try to take out the one little section of carpet here 
from the door to the bedroom. Then I can put the threshold in, then I can go about sealing uh, the door up when you close it so that it seals. Don't know how far we'll get today. I'm just mostly here to <laughs> mostly here to close the window because I left it open yesterday and it's supposed to rain tomorrow or early this morning. Um, okay, that was the progress yesterday. Now, gotta get to work. Okay, goal for today was to rip out this section of carpet and to close the window. Accomplished! And I just took the nails out and set it outside for right now. That will go to cover some ground that I want to plant something in in the spring. But yeah, oh my gosh, was this dirty. Look at that dirt. I don't think it had been vacuumed in a decade. That was the heaviest carpet I have ever experienced. And that goes into that junky bathroom. So, mission accomplished. Window is closed for the rains coming tonight. Oh, something else I did yesterday. Um, adjust, adjust. Where that uh, plastic storage tub is, there was a big TV there yesterday. Got that out of here. Just lowered it out onto the ground, scooted across the carpet, out the front door, into the bed of my truck. Wasn't as bad as I thought it was. So, and hey, look, there's a window. So, and I've cleared out, I don't know, about a third of the living room now. So, uh, to start, and I'm going to have a glass of water and a bagel. Take a break. Later.